Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel Esculenta Science. If you are new to here and want to learn about the food processing technology, please hit the subscribe followed by the bell. In our previous lessons, we discussed about the d-value and z-value in food processing. When determining thermal processing time, a value also important. So today we are going to talk about the f-value and the relationship between f-value and d-value. During our previous lesson on d-value, we learned that to obtain required parameters, we can convert the survival curve to a log scale, then we can get a graph like this. If we look at the plot and if we consider reduce the microbial population from 10 to the power 3 to 10 to the power 2, that means one log cycle and that would be f equals to 1 times d, that means f equals d because we are just reducing the microbial population by one log cycle. Oh, if you want to reduce the microbial population from 10 to the power 4 to 10 to the power 10, then we have a value equal to 2 log cycles. So it will be 2 times d or it will be a 2d process. Similarly, starting from 10 to the power 4, if you want to reduce the microbial population to 10 to the power 1, the line will be go to 3 log cycles. So we will have f equal to 3 times d. So it will be a 3d process. So in other words, f is nothing but some multiple factor of d. That means f value is number of minutes required to destroy a given number of organisms at a given temperature. So now you know d value, z value and f value in canning process. If you need any clarification, please leave a comment. Thank you.